Do you want to know how to make anime by yourself? No problem. I'm just a guy who makes anime alone only using my laptop. And you can do it too. So today, I'm gonna teach you how to create your own animations with an amazing software called VRM Posing Desktop. Which is a really underrated software, but with its help I was able to create my Ruby fan animations within an incredibly short amount of time, and I actually had a lot of fun while doing it. So if you're ready to learn how to make this kind of animations by yourself, let's start with the video. So after you'll finish downloading VRM Posing Desktop from Steam, you will immediately be able to open it and start posing one of its default characters. But if you want to add one of your own characters, you can do it by clicking on the change or add buttons. And then you can just import your VRM file from where you saved it on your computer. And now, I would just like to mention that there are a lot of useful things that you can do with this software, like importing 3D models and attaching them to your characters, or to mess with the wind physics and the lighting of your scene. But I would rather not go over all of those things in detail, because I want to get to the part that you actually came here to see, which is to learn how to make your animations with it. So in order to do that, all you need to do is to click on the loop VRM8 button on the right. And then you can start creating keyframes for your animation by clicking on the add button and changing the poses and expressions of your character. And this is actually how I managed to create most of the simple animations for my Ruby trailers. But if you want to create more complex stuff, like fighting animations for example, you can actually combine VRM posing desktop with another free software called XR Animator. And if you haven't watched my previous video about it, XR Animator is basically a software that allows you to import FBX animations to it from Mixamo. And then you can actually broadcast its motions to other softwares by activating its VMC protocol function. So after you'll do that, you can just go back to VRM Posing Desktop and click on the VMC protocol button on the left. And after you'll click on Receive, you'll be able to choose which body parts you want to track, and also if you want to receive the body position and facial expressions from XR Animator, which I'm gonna deactivate for now, because there is actually a great use for this function that I want to show you later in the video. But now, you can simply click on Receive Pose, and your character will immediately perform each FBX motion that you'll drag to XR Animator. So as you can see, this function is already pretty impressive as it is. But if you want to have even more control, you can actually readjust the body parts that you haven't tracked. And then you can capture this motion into an animated sequence by simply clicking a lot of times on the Add button. And then you can even change the motion and the facial expressions of your model if you want and create even longer and more complex animations. And now if you'll click on the play button, you'll be able to view how your animation actually looks like. And as you can see, it actually looks pretty bad. But lucky for you, you can now go ahead and polish your animation by deleting some of the keyframes that you don't want, adjusting and updating some of the poses, and playing with the speed of the transitions, or even changing the frame interpolation method. So this is basically how I was able to create most of the action animations for my trailers. And even though it is possible to animate several characters at the same time in this software, unfortunately it is a bit difficult to synchronize the different animated sequences at the same time. So this is why for certain shots, when I wanted to feature a lot of characters on the screen at the same time, or when I wanted to sync different animations with more precision, I actually preferred to use a different software called Dan Sing Sing, which I already made two videos talking about it in the past, so go and check them out if you are interested. But I do plan to make a more advanced animation tutorial with it in the future, explaining how to make these kind of animations. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss it. But now, let's go back to VRM Posing Desktop, because there is one more very important thing that you can do with it. And that thing is to create your lip sync animations. So in order to do that, you can actually combine VRM Posing Desktop with another free software called VC Face, that you can actually use in order to set up your character's facial expressions and activating them by pressing different keys on your keyboard. And after you'll activate its VMC protocol function, you can actually go back to VRM Posing Desktop. And then you can just deactivate the tracking of all of the body parts, except for the facial expressions. And after you'll press on Receive Pose, you'll be able to control your character's expressions by pressing different keys. And now, if you actually want your character to speak, you can do it by importing an audio file to VC Face, and then it will create the lip sync for you automatically. But what if you don't have an audio file for your character? If you are a voice actor, or friends with ones, of course you can go ahead and record something even with your smartphone. But since I am making anime alone, what I like to do is to actually use a free website called Eleven Labs. Over there, you can just pick a voice from their voice library. And then, you can just write your text and click on Generate. I don't think we should do that. If you are not happy with it, you can always click on Generate again. But I think it actually came out pretty good. So I'll just go ahead and click on Download. 
And now, in order to import the audio file back to VC Face, all you need to do is to open the general settings menu, and then to click on load and play audio. Now you can just go ahead and open the folder where you saved your audio file. Just don't forget to change the file type to all files, because otherwise you probably won't even be able to see it. Then just pick it, and click on open. And now when you'll go back to VRM Posing Desktop, your character will move its lips in sync with your audio. I don't think we should do that. So now, all you have left to do, is to go ahead and export your video. But before that, there is one more thing that I recommend you do, and that is to change the background of your scene. So if you want something simple, you can always use one of the built-in backgrounds that comes with the software. But what I like to do, is to actually import one of my own 360 generated backgrounds. And I already made a video talking about how I make my backgrounds before, so I don't really want to go over it right now. But before importing 360 images as backgrounds for VRM Posing Desktop, there are actually a couple of things that you're gonna have to do. So first of all, you must make sure that the horizon line of your generated background is matching the one of a typical 360 panoramic image. So what I recommend you do is to just go to Google Images and type something like 360 image grid. Then save the template as a reference and edit your background image to match it. And you can also fix your background's edges not overlapping by duplicating your image, flipping it horizontally, and masking one of the edges. And I just want to give a quick shout out to Reckit and Tony Coley for giving me the idea to do it in my last video about it. So anyway, after you've finished editing your background image, the next thing that you'll have to do is to import the image to a free website called onlineconvertfree.com. Over there, you can change the format of your image from a PNG to an HDR file. Then, you can just save it on your computer and open it in VRM Posing Desktop. And now you can finally export your animation. So in order to do that, just click on the camera button above. You can then add other camera effects and filters if you want. And then just click on MP4. Pick the resolution and the aspect ratio for your video. Decide how long you want your clip to be. Click on export, save it wherever you want, and you're done. I don't think we should do that. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. See you later.